Oh god. Dude, this looks like a sci-fi laser pistol. Alright, what's up guys? So, happy 4th of July, um, because it is the 4th of July as of recording this, and, um, it was just Canada Day, so happy late Canada Day to all my Canadian peeps out there. Um, I got a couple hours to kill before I gotta get some stuff done today, so we're gonna try to do some river treasure hunting in one of my favorite spots from last year. It's wicked hot outside right now. I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm dying in this hot car. Um, so we're gonna go take a drive, see if anybody's down there, if I can get in the water where I want to go, and I don't know, try to make a video real quick. I just want to get in the water, it's so hot, so let's get driving. Dunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real, cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. So, I actually f forgot to film this before I got in the water, but the spot I wanted to go to, um, yeah, there was like three cars there, so people were fishing there. So I came back down behind Coonskin on the Elk River, where we found the gun magnet fishing and all that, and the water is much lower today, so this should be a lot better. Hopefully I find a lot more stuff. <laughs> As if I don't already know what I found. <laughs> but it's, uh, the visibility is much better. The water level is much better. So let's, uh, let's see what I found today. Thank <laughs> you. 
working up in the road. What is up guys? Let's go over 
the crazy random stuff that I found today. So, uh, a bunch of bottles. Uh, somebody's kayak brochure. I found a flower pot. There's a spoon in here somewhere. Uh, different cans, like this one. <laughs> Looks like it's pretty old, but it's got American flag and jets flying. Seems very, like, patriotic. Fourth of July, so that's ironic. I actually found an, a Smirnoff can of uh, the red, white, and berry. Uh, so that's actually super ironic again, too. Very Fourth of July. Uh, but then I found this is what you didn't see because I'm pretty sure the GoPro was off. I found another whole computer, guys. Um, so I pulled that out. I also found, I think this is part of a toilet tank. There's like two toilets down there. The, I've seen one base and I've seen a whole tank. Maybe, maybe there's three, maybe another tank. And this, I think, is another tank. And then I found this. Oh, this is a printer or a scanner or like a fax machine or something. On the bottom, it kind of looked like it was a scanner. It looked like it had a lid and scanning documents. And then I swam. Oh, I almost fell. I swam pretty far that way. And I seen this. I thought it was a time box. But it wasn't. It was this. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like maybe like a electric like rivet driver, like a nail gun. It's pretty cool, though. It looks like a, like a laser gun or something. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that's very slimy. I shouldn't have touched that. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then I think I found the stock to the rifle. I found magnet fishing because it didn't have one at all. And this is definitely, see, this is where your shoulder goes. And this is where your hand would grip around. And this is right about where the trigger would be connecting to the gun. And then uh, I found this whole like electrical panel, uh, which was pretty insane, connected to a metal pipe. I I gotta get the pipe up here still. But the, mm, it's the cherry on top. The very last thing I found, and I just happened to see it, <gasps> is that nine millimeter pistol Beretta knockoff. Um, what does this say? Echo, echo and something, nine millimeter. Um, yeah, handgun, the uh, serial number, like it only has like a quarter to half of the serial number. So I'm not gonna call anybody because you can't read anything anyway. So I guess I'll just hang on to this one. Uh, if it had a full serial number, I definitely would call the cops again. But uh, you can't even read half of it. I can barely read that it is in fact a nine millimeter pistol. For two seconds, I was like, maybe it's an airsoft gun, but it's definitely metal all the way. Definitely says nine millimeter. I'm about to research and uh, Maybe pop some pictures up on the screen or something, put down in the description, like who makes this and like how much this gun was and stuff, or if they even make it anymore. But like, ah, I'm still kind of shaking from it. I am so excited about this, guys. <laughs> I freaked out underwater for like ever, like amazing. Literally, I just looked over and I seen kind of a handle and then I seen a trigger guard and I got super excited because I knew immediately that it was a handgun. Oh. Oh, I am actually happy that the original spot that I was going for was unavailable because I never would have found any of this stuff or that gun. And, oh, step down. <laughs> and, uh, oh, super exciting day. Oh, I am, I'm going to sleep good tonight, guys. <laughs> but uh, real quick, let me go, let me take you over here um, and show you. You see down there, you see, you can see stuff in the water. Uh, the water was pretty much up to that first pipe down there last time. So it was already almost like three, four foot deep right there the last time that I swam in here. So the place where I found that stuff was like, like 10, 15 feet. So it was much easier to get down and see stuff. And like, there's definitely, there is definitely a lot more in here. We are definitely coming back here. Uh, hopefully the water level go down, goes down even more and makes it easier to find stuff. But like, yeah, I mean, we got some trash out. That's always exciting because there's like computer components and there's nasty stuff in there. And there's nasty stuff in a lot of that stuff I found. So it's good. We got all that out. We're gonna get it taken care of properly. And I <laughs> found a gun. Oh, two. I know that's, that's nothing for exploring with Nug. He finds like guns in his sleep, but like for me, 
super exciting. I'm gonna shut up, guys. <laughs> I am too excited. I am gonna get all my gear together and I'm gonna go home and probably start editing this because I'm way too excited. At least make the thumbnail because I'm that excited about it. I hope you guys are having a great 4th of July weekend. Uh, this is probably gonna come out on you know, next weekend, so I hope everybody had a safe journey to where they were going and a safe trip home and had a great time with friends and family. And uh, remember guys, go out there, make your own adventures. Life is truly short. So just have fun while you can, guys. Peace, y'all. Oh.